Hello, good morning, all the students. So we are back here again with one more new video. In the yesterday's class, we had learned about the classification of the halogen derivatives of the alkene. So how they can classify? They can be classified into two types on the basis of number of halogen atoms present and on the basis of parent hydrocarbon. And on the basis of number of halogen atoms present, they can be classified as monohalogen derivative, dihalogen derivative, trihalogen derivative and polyhalogen or a tetrahalogen derivative right mono means containing one halogen di means containing two halogen tri means containing three halogen tetra or a poly means containing more than three or a four halogen atoms right so we have also seen the examples of each of them then the second classification is they can be also classified on the basis of the parent hydrocarbon now parent hydrocarbon can be ethane methane propane butane right so on the basis of that they can be also classified as haloalkanes haloalkenes then haloalkynes and haloarenes so we have seen the entire classification now today's lecture we are going to see the preparation of a alkyl halides my dear students preparation of alkyl halides is a very very important question in your board exam so whatever the reactions today I am going to give you, you all have to note down those reactions during this particular period, right? So let's come here for the alkyl halides preparation. Put the heading preparation of alkyl halides. Preparation of alkyl halides. So you all know what is the alkyl halides. Alkyl halides are the organic compound alkyl halides are the organic compounds containing Rx bond, right? Alkyl halides are the organic compound containing Rx bond, where R stands for alkyl group and X stands for halogen group, right? So you have to remember this. So alkyl halides are nothing but the organic compound which contains the Rx bond where R is nothing but the alkyl group and X is nothing but the halogen group, right? Okay, but before beginning with this, we also have to understand the general molecular formula of the halogen derivatives, right? So let's write down the general molecular formula before doing the preparation of the alkyl halides. So for monohalogen derivatives, for monohalogen derivatives, the general molecular formula will be CnH2n plus 1x. Remember, containing only one halogen atom. That is why only 1x. Right? Then, second one, dihalogen derivative. Dihalogen derivative, it will be CnH2n plus 1x. 2C containing two halogen atoms. Third one, trihalogen derivative. In the case of trihalogen derivative, CnH2n plus 1x3. Right? Now you know further how will be the general molecular formula. Then for poly halogen derivative. It will be CnH2n plus 1x4, right? So, my dear students, that you might have understood the general molecular formula, general molecular formula of the halogen derivatives of alkane. So, my dear students, this particular question of general molecular formula can be asked in your board exam for MCQs, right? You all know, as per our new paper pattern, we have a total... 18 MC, 10 MCQs and 8 VSA questions. So they can ask you in the MCQ part this particular question, right? They can ask anyone, mono, di, tri and poly. The only thing you have to remember is X. What is X? X is nothing but the total number of halogen atoms. That is the X, X2, X3 and X4. The rest all the things will be as it is. That will be C N H two n plus 1, right? So I hope that you have understood the general molecular formula. I request all of you to note down this. Okay, now let's move forward. Let's see the preparation methods of alkyl halides. As I told you, this is a very, very important question. 
right? It can be asked in the exam for either three marks, preparation of alkalides, or they can ask you in the exam in the section D for two marks in the form of a sandwich questions for complete the reaction. So, my dear student, this question becomes the very very important question right so you write down how many methods are there for the preparation so basically there are four methods for the preparation of the alkalolites number one method they can be prepared by halogenation of alkanes they can be prepared by halogenation of alkanes number two they can be prepared by addition of acid halides acid halides to alkenes right so sabse pehla preparation kya hai sabse pehle hum log alkene se bana sakte dusra method alkene se bana sakte third method jo sabse best method hai and many a times this method is asked in the exam that is from alcohols right there are number of reactions for the preparation from alcohols that we are going to see right then we can also prepare by halogen exchange. This reaction is a very very famous reaction. We will do this reaction. I will tell you what reaction it is. But try to understand halogen exchange is one of the method for the preparation of the alkalides. So today we are going to see 1, 2, 3, 4. All the 4 methods of preparation of alkalides. So let's go with the first one that is the halogenation of Alkanes. I request to all my dear students that simultaneously you all should note it down in your notebook whatever I am giving you. So let's see the first method halogenation of alkanes. Now what does this method tells you? We are going to prepare the alkyl halide from the alkanes. Right? From the alkanes but how? by the halogenation of alkanes right so here we are going to add the halogen to the alkanes so let's take the example ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 right 3 1 4 right so this is our butane right to this butane we can add cl2 in presence of sunlight or you can say not sunlight uv light UV light right so here in this case there are two possibilities or the two products can be formed or we can say two alkalides can be formed here what is happening in this reaction of halogenation of alkanes one of the hydrogen atom of the alkane is replaced by the halogen atom so the replacement of the halogen atom can take place from this carbon or the replacement can take place from this carbon from first or from second. Now when it takes from the first carbon, the product obtained will be CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 and Cl. Right? So here in this case, other will be HCl. Right? And if the second product obtained will be, if the hydrogen atom is replaced from this particular carbon, CH3, CH2, CH, Cl and CH3 plus HCl, right? So two possible products are there. The name of the first product is 1-chlorobutane, 1-chlorobutane and the name of the second product is 2-chlorobutane. Now this both 1-chlorobutane and 2-chlorobutane are nothing but the alkyl halides. So my dear students, I hope that you have understood the halogenation of the alkanes. So halogenation of the alkanes is nothing but the addition of the halogens to the alkanes by the replacement of the hydrogen atom by the uh, uh, halogen atom. Right? Okay. Now let's go for the next method of preparation. You all have to note down these methods. This is very very important. Okay. So second method. Second method by addition of acid halides. Acid halides with alkenes. Abhi hum log isko kis se prepare karenge? Alkenes se prepare karenge, right? So what is alkenes? 
alkenes are those compounds which are containing the carbon carbon double bond alkynes are containing carbon carbon triple bond so in that carbon carbon double bond we are supposed to add the acid halides now let me tell you what is acid halide you can note it down somewhere else see acid halides are hcl hbr hi right see why it is called as the acid halides because hydrogen is attached to the halide hydrogen is attached to the halide hydrogen is attached to the halide that is why it is said to be the acid halides because it becomes the hydrogen chloride which is acid hydrogen bromide again is acid hydrogen iodide again it is a acid only right so here in this case that is why we can say them or call them as the acid halides so by using this particular acid halides we are going to carry out the reactions so let's take the example so alkene i'm going to take ch3 ch double bond ch2 right so my dear students here i have taken a one propene right so in this one propene we are going to add hbr hbr so in this case always remember that whenever an unsymmetrical reagent is added to an unsymmetrical alkene the the negative part of the reagent will get added to that carbon atom which contains the less number of hydrogen atom i am talking that the reaction will take place according to the markovnikov's rule what does the markovnikov's rule says markovnikov's rule says that this reagent is a unsymmetrical why unsymmetrical one is containing hydrogen the other part is bromine see what is symmetrical h2 h plus h plus this is symmetrical containing both the same atoms br minus br minus right containing the same atom they are the symmetrical ones but what is unsymmetrical unsymmetrical means both are containing the different atoms one containing a positive charge other containing the negative charge so when an unsymmetrical reagent is added to an unsymmetrical reagent sorry unsymmetrical reagent is added to an unsymmetrical alkene now what is an unsymmetrical alkene see here on this side you can see the carbon is containing two hydrogens on this side you can see the carbon is containing only one hydrogen so here it becomes unsymmetrical this there is no symmetry on one side one hydrogen on the other side two hydrogens so the, as there is a unsymmetry so we say that it is a unsymmetrical alkene so when an unsymmetrical reagent is added to an unsymmetrical alkene the negative part of the reagent will get added to that carbon atom which contains the less number of hydrogen atoms and that rule is said to be the markovnikov's rule so how does the addition takes place the addition will take place according to the markovnikov's rule as well as the anti markovnikov's remember what is the anti markovnikov's because two products are possible here also see product number 1 will be a major product according to the markovnikov's rule so when markovnikov's rule takes place the negative part will get added to the carbon containing the less number of hydrogen atom so the product obtained will be ch3 ch br double bond will get broken and this hydrogen will get added to this particular carbon so here it will become a ch3 the product obtained will be 2 bromo propane 2 bromo propane right aur dusra product kya hoga dusra product hoga wo minor product hoga and it will take place according to the anti markovnikov's rule anti markovnikov's rule wo kya hoga minor product hoga minor product see now what does the anti markovnikov's rule says the negative part will get added to that carbon atom which contains the more number of hydrogen atoms so here in this case anti markovnikov's the negative part will get added to this particular carbon the product obtained will be ch3 and hydrogen will get added to the this carbon ch2 ch2 double bond again will get broken and br 
So this is a one bromopropane. Are you understanding, my dear students? So here also one bromopropane and two bromopropane are nothing but the alkyl halides. Right, but only the addition is taking place according to the Markovnikov's and the anti-Markovnikov's rule. So you have to remember this particular Markovnikov's rule reaction. It is asked many a times in the board exam. Okay, okay. So let's go for the third method and the most important method. <coughs> third method of preparation that is by using the alcohols right so how we can prepare by the uh, by the alcohols there are number of methods first we'll take the alcohol ch3 ch2 oh what is what kind of alcohol it is ethyl alcohol right it is the ethyl alcohol if this ethyl alcohol when treated with socl2 what is this socl2 socl2 is nothing but the thionyl 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 chloride it is a thionyl chloride so the reaction will take place when it is heated it will get converted into ch3 ch2 cl plus so2 plus hcl see very very simple reaction what is what is there in this reaction so2 gas is coming out hcl is coming out and oh c this OH of the ethyl alcohol is getting replaced by this chlorine, right? The reaction in which the halogen is being, the particular alcohol OH is being replaced by the halogen is said to be the preparation by using the alcohols, right? So we can also use the phosphorus halides. So you can copy down this first method, right? Then let's go for the next method by using the same product CH3CH2OH plus we can take PCl3 heated it will give CH3CH2Cl again ethyl chloride plus POH thrice plus HCl right so this is one of the method again there is a replacement of OH by the chlorine but here in this case the second reactant we have changed now instead of SOCl2 we have taken the phosphorus halide that is the phosphorus trichloride right so you can also note down this particular reaction okay now we can also take the phosphorus pentachloride PCl5 <coughs> this particular reaction is also possible so CH3, CH2, Cl plus POCl3 plus HCl, right? So this is the reaction by using the PCl5. Now we can also carry out the reaction, one more reaction by using the PBr3. PBr3 heated, it gets converted into CH3. CH2 Cl. See again replacement of the OH by the chlorine atom, halogen atom plus POH thrice plus HCl. Right? Not HCl. Here it will be HBr. HBr. Right? So I hope my dear students that you have understood this particular reaction. You, you all have understood this particular reactions. So these are the important reactions which are used for the preparation of the alkaloids. I hope one more is remaining. Okay. So let's see that the fourth method by using the halogen exchange. Now what is this method? The word itself tells you. See what is halogen exchange? Exchange between the two halogens. Right? Here in this case, chlorine will be exchanged by iodine, bromine will be exchanged by the iodine. This method is called as the halogen exchange. So here I am going to take the example of CH3Cl when treated with sodium iodide. Right? In presence of acetone, it will give you CH3I plus NaCl. 
So what is what kind of a reaction it is? It is simply a exchange reaction where chlorine is getting exchanged by the iodine and here iodine is getting exchanged by the chlorine. So such kind of a reactions are nothing but called as the halogen exchange. By halogen exchange also you can prepare the alkyl halides. Right? It is one of the most simplest method for the preparation of the alkyl halides. Now this reaction, this particular reaction is also said to be Finkelstein reaction. Finkelstein reaction. Remember my dear students, this reaction can be asked in your VSA. That is the very short answers for one mark in your board exam. Right, it is very very important reaction and many a times it has been asked in the exam what is the Finkelstein reaction for two marks in your board exam. It has been asked earlier in the board exams, right? So be prepared and practice this reactions thoroughly at your home, right? Okay, then uh, this was regarding the preparation of alkyl halides. Then let's talk about the preparation of aryl halide. In preparation of our aryl halide, we are going to see the Sandmeyer's reaction. Sandmeyer's reaction. Now, what is Sandmeyer's reaction? See what happens in the Sandmeyer's reaction. The benzyl, benzyl chloride, or we can say benzene disonium chloride. Benzene disonium chloride. reacts reacts with acid halide to form <coughs> aryl halide to form aryl halide see it is a very very simple reaction benzene disonium chloride reacts with the acid halide to form the aryl halide so let's see the reaction so this is our benzene ring and to this benzene ring N2Cl. See, whenever there is a N2Cl and benzene, it is said to be a benzene disonium chloride. Benzene disonium chloride. So in presence of copper bromide, it will get converted into See, what is the name of this product? Bromo benzene. Bromo benzene. So, my dear students, I hope that you might have understood this particular reaction. So, my dear students, please try to understand.